You know what's cool? Snakes. You know what's also cool? Recording a video with a snake. Here's my uh, guest, uh, Mr. Uh, Bull Snake, and uh, he's gonna keep me company as I uh, make this video for Kalua. <laughs> he is not not happy. Making sure I'm not in the way. Oh, I'm in the way. Don't die, the snake. <laughs> So, Kalua, this is your video, um, answering your question, and I thought, what a perfect representation of the truth. It bites like a snake, does it not? But it is rather cunning, and also quite specific, and I don't know, I was trying to make up some other meaningful things for a snake. Let's see if I can like, get a little closer. There we go. Yes! Enjoy him while I ramble on. I'll keep an eye on him. So. <sighs> INTPs being too honest, but you also emphasized on when you're getting hurt or someone else is being illogical You feel like you need to press even further Almost so it seems as a defense mechanism of some sort like that um, Which is quite interesting, but let's see here So let's just focus on being too honest <clears throat> So especially with me, I guess I'll use me as an example. I feel Yes, in every situation I need to be um, honest in my representation of how I believe something to be true. Ooh, he is getting bee. <laughs> um, if uh, someone is presenting themselves in a way that might be harmful... He's hissing. Ooh, he is not happy. Um, and they, they uh, present themselves as if it's a, as a truth or whatnot, or maybe ignorant to the, <coughs> the side effects of their behavior, then it is very difficult for me to uh, um, not point it out or at least address it. I think our little guest is going to be leaving. Wise words from a snake. Oh, got another guest coming in. Like, <laughs> ah, this is quite weird recording on a record on this. Actually, okay. Be careful, there's a snake. Is that? Oh, there's a snake, but yeah, it's. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. What kind is it? A uh, bull snake. A bull? Oh, One second. Anyways, <laughs> it's rather difficult as people are passing by and they're like, ooh, a snake. But anyways, <clears throat> if, if someone is representing themselves as an absolute truth and I find that it is actually harmful for themselves and the people around them, it is very difficult for me to accept it as a, as a thing to not address in some form or fashion. And they feel quite attacked by it. Um, I try to address it in the most pleasant way possible because um, blunt truth isn't always or always isn't always helpful um, for human growth because most of the time even INTPs are illogical um, because once it gets personal because if things are impersonal it's easy to be quite abrupt and straightforward about it but if um, if it's at all a, something that you depend on as an insecurity then it becomes rather um, you start to protect it naturally as a person because you are using it as a form to live and see life and operate and it is rather difficult to unwind that and change it and then reattach to something else that's stronger and um, more effective and that actually helps you move or become a better person rather than becoming um, insecure. Like this snake. He's rather... No, actually, no. He has a good reason to be nervous. <laughs> or whatever. He thinks I'm going to eat it. Mm, maybe I should eat it right in front of you. Um, and then you said an interesting thing about, um, about how when other people are acting illogically, you feel like you need to press further. And I think the, the focus on truth is, what is your goal? Why do you give a crap? So some, I mean, we would say, well, it's not truthful, but okay, there's a lot of things that are not truthful, and 
um, I guess you have to pick and choose which truth is um, either relevant or helpful at the moment in the person you're talking to or the situation that you're in. If you only care about being right, then you're just annoying. So stop it. <laughs> um, but if, let's say, you actually care about the development of that person, you may recognize that as a truth about them, some kind of insecurity or a thought process or whatever, but it may not be applicable to communicate that right away. It's a butterfly. I don't know if you saw it, but um, <clears throat> may not be applicable to uh, communicate it right away, but to um, work it into the mind frame of your communication with them to encourage them to work past some of those things and to recognize how their non-truth that they think is truth or the illogicalness words um, how it's actually a harming mechanism or whatnot. Um, when you are trying to determine like truth to say because you don't want to outright lie to somebody um, sometimes it's helpful to recognize what truth is applicable at the time because there's different truths that are available to you and you could still say something that's still honest and yet doesn't spur on aggression or, or defensiveness um, and sometimes the the truth that's more appropriate is an encouraging truth even when that person might be as annoying as heck but like I said um, before um, it ties into how the different like the psychological stuff where people might be behaving a, a certain way because of different actions and stuff that's going on in their life and so if an encouragement a truthful encouragement were to come out they actually may become less illogical um, but we can find that highly difficult to practice that because we are offended by their illogicalness or even hurt by it and we feel it best to necessary to uh, defend ourselves um, or even put them down or or even to display our intellect which is all not good so um, yes determine what truth is appropriate at that time and maybe even an encouraging one so yes what is your motivation what is your ambition why do you care In INTPs we have a low FE and um, people are kind of like weird systems of partial illogical messes but there's a but there's, it's more than just a, a mess of emotions because when you look at psychology, you find that there are these connections and one dot is insinuate or is motivated by 10 other um, actions surrounding it, which can make it seem like you have 10 different kinds of dots, but they're all in this um, similar circumstance or circle or whatnot. But you have someone who has more experience in certain traumas or um, certain um, actions or whatnot, that specific dot might move a little bit, but it's it's within the sphere of common common traits. <laughs> He's trying to sneak away from me. Thank you, little snake. Actually, it's a big snake. Well, at least he got to be part of the video. Um, yes. So we recognize that there is um, logical. Uh, connections to people's behavior even if it seems illogical uh, and with that when we recognize that humanity doesn't operate under simple often on truths and non-truths um, there's something else that's motivating us to behave certain ways um, then you it takes a, a lot more care and caressing um, because there's more going on in the un under uh, under the hood than than just simply what someone is doing or not doing um, and whatnot. Hopefully that makes sense. So yes, INTPs, what what makes what do you do to try to make yourself not so abruptly truthful? If 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 that's something actually you do at all, or do you just let it go? And how's that going for you? <laughs> no, um, and how do you see how other people um, interact with you when even though you're trying to be truthful but like well, I don't know what do you do to try to soften the edges and how do you see people um, 
what's, what's their response? How do you see their responses, I suppose? I hope this was a slightly uh, uh, informative video, and I'm glad I got to have a snake in my video. I'm so happy. <laughs> I actually saw a snake yesterday and picked it up, and it was hissing like crap um, at me. So I'll see you guys in another video, another life. You never know. Wish me luck. I am barefoot, and there are snakes everywhere. One day, man, actually, I ran it. Okay, so there was this deer um, in a field, and I ran after it, and I was barefoot, and it snorted at me and ran away. And I ended up running right into a huge pile or growth of prickly weeds that was like up to my hip. And now from my shit or from my knees, actually you can, I don't know if you can see, it's little red dots on my knee that kind of look weird, sorry. But anyway, uh, there's these red dots from my knees all the way down to my feet from the pricklies. And now I'm in pain and I try to record a video, but it was too dark. So it was just a big waste. It was so sad. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. You guys enjoy yourself. Bye.